Demand for renewable energy is on the rise worldwide. More than a fifth of renewables contributed to total energy consumption last year alone. And with growing concerns over energy security and climate change, the industry is only expected to grow further. Our Kwanzawa helps us find out where Korea stands in this energy race. What appears to be an ordinary convenience store at first glance is fully equipped with eco-friendly devices. Solar panels on the roof, the number one source of renewable energy in Korea, and a system that ensures that energy is distributed evenly, whether to the refrigerators, the air conditioner, or the LED lights. Solar energy is absorbed throughout the day to keep the convenience store running at night. And leftover energy is stored in this energy storage system for later use. This way, up to 30 percent of the energy can be saved. That system, along with another one that helps monitor how much energy is consumed and when and how it's used, lets the store cut its carbon footprint by 30 percent and reduce its electricity fees by 23 percent. Convenience stores are open 24 hours. The signs outside, the lights inside are on all the time. That's why we wanted a way to cut energy waste. Microgrid technology, a convergence of renewables and IT, makes it possible for buildings to produce, use and save energy as they wish. With ideas like these, Korea is following the global trend toward boosting its use of renewable energy. Last year, global renewable energy consumption levels rose to more than 20 percent for the first time ever. Investment in the sector jumped last year, too. Korea, however, doesn't contribute much to that, as it's at the very bottom of the OECD when it comes to renewable energy production. The number of renewable energy plants in Korea is growing rapidly, and there will be tangible growth in the amount of renewable energy use between 2020 and 2025. And that should help Korea reach its target of reducing its greenhouse gas emissions by 37 percent by 2030. Kwon Soa, Arirang News.